Hi, my name is Steven and I turned 24 today. I wanted to reflect on my life journey so far and tell you some of the lessons I've learned. Lesson 1. Recovery is important for producing quality work. Lesson 2. A future-oriented mindset helps make decisions today. And Lesson 3. When you make a video saying how much you love your mom's cooking, expect to get really, really fat. Lesson four, be a morning person. I found that I have so much more time in the morning to do the stuff that is important in my life. I use my morning time to pray, to meditate, to journal, and even make YouTube videos. Lesson five, excellent work comes from being in a great mental state. Remember to check in with yourself every single day. You could journal about what you're grateful for. All these emotions that you're feeling, also the biggest problem on your mind right now. Then, lesson number six, take a cold shower. Overcoming a huge hurdle like cold showers sets you up to handle any problem that comes your way. Cold showers are simply amazing. Just not amazing. <laughs> Lesson 7. Every experience is important for growing knowledge and skills. Lesson 8. Take in all the wisdom that your mentors provide because it will expand you beyond what your experience can give and you. And if you don't have a mentor yet, think within your network and see if there is someone that you aspire to be like. Lesson 9. Get over the fear of rejection. This was the biggest lesson I learned in my time as an Intercept interviewer. Full script in my blog post. Basically, I found that I started to enjoy approaching people once I learned that getting rejected was part of the job and I experienced the rejection for myself. People rarely choose to stop their day for five to 10 minutes just to fill out a simple survey. I started to view myself so much differently that I just had this confidence once I got over the paralysis of being rejected. This leads me to lesson number 10. Nobody cares, so just put yourself out there. I am still overcoming my fear in posting on social media, on my blog post, on YouTube, purely because I fear that people would judge what I have to say. And the idea here is to own my imperfect work and document this journey. I mean, I'm still growing. I still have plenty to learn. I think that this this right here video is, is a good example that I would look back at this video and see how much I've grown. Number 11, keep in mind why you are doing things. For me in this YouTube channel, that's me focusing on creating a community of musicians, creatives that are all supporting each other in finding work-life balance. We would help each other master the little things, kind of give encouragement on how to get better. And if that's something that resonates with you, feel free to, you know, subscribe. <laughs> Number 12, purposeful work trumps any high paying job. I don't really care how much money I make. More about shining God's light into this world and knowing that I'm in his will. Number 13, being innovative and adaptable means you can handle whatever problem that gets thrown at you and at the same time generate creative solutions. Number 14, the 80-20 rule is talked about a lot in the productivity space. The main idea is to focus on 20% of the work that produces 80% of the results. Number 15, prioritize real rest and make intentional decisions. It was very hard for me to work towards this YouTube channel when I was a full-time student and now full-time worker. Continually in fellowships on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, practices on Saturdays, and serving on the music team on Sundays, and having band sessions on Monday evenings. And now with me finally dedicating some time to tutoring some people on Tuesday evenings, I just get very, very tired. And when I'm tired, I fall back to playing video games and watching YouTube as a form of rest. But I'm still learning. It is these low willpower moments that I will choose to rest and recover and be intentional with my time. Which means shutting off devices and being present.
Number 16. I have discovered through university that studying is not for me. Despite being an excellent student in high school, I have found it very difficult to translate that over to university. I don't know whether it's my lack in time management or tertiary education system, but I just never made full use of my time at uni. One very good thing I learned at uni though was I really love to reflect, and this is what this video is. It's a reflection. Surprise! Also at uni, I learned number 17. Group projects are a pain. Except when you have amazing team leaders. Except you really don't have team leaders in a paired project. And let's just say studying is not for me. <laughs> Let's speed this up, shall we? Number 18, own your mistakes whenever you make them. Number 19, my parents will always love me. Number 20, choose to marry someone that aligns with your values, not just the pretty face. But when you have found both, make sure not to let go. Number 21, choose your friends wisely. Hand in hand, number 22, it's better to choose quality friends than quantity friends. Hand in hand and foot, number 23, consider those friends that are in relationship with you purely because of a transactional relationship rather than a transformational one. But make sure you do your part in being a transformational friend, ask big questions, listen to their response, and be there to help them grow. <sighs> Number 24, God doesn't reveal his entire plan, only the next step. Have faith to take the next step. Trust God. These were 24 lessons from my life, and I hope you enjoyed my gift. And if you did, make sure you leave down in the comments below your favorite point. Even if you have some lessons from your own life that you want to share with me, I would love to hear your responses. I hope you have a day full of wonder. But as normal people would say, have a wonderful day and I'll see you next year. This is my 24th birthday. I'm 24, bro. I'm so old. You know, so old. Okay. Bye. For real.